Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will be explaining the physical properties of haloalkanes and haloarenes. Now, firstly, moving on to the first physical property that is when we talk about the physical state, physical state and odor means smell. When we talk about the physical state and odor, we will notice that the lower members, the lower members, the lower members such as bromomethane, chloroethane, chloromethane, and all and they are all cases. Whereas iotomethane and the majority of the high, uh, higher members, higher members, there are these are cases. The higher members, iotomethane, and the majority of the higher members are they are sweet smelling sweet smelling sweet smelling liquids they are sweet smelling liquids and still if you study the higher homologous higher homologous halalkins and halarines we will notice that they are solids therefore the higher homologous ones are Autorless, autorless solids. And, and hello, erines are colorless. We will see that here. Hello, erines. Hello, erines are colorless liquids or crystalline or crystalline solids. Now the second one. Number two, if we check the color, the color of the halo alkenes and halo arenes are halo alkenes, the halo alkenes or the alkyl halides are colorless when beer. But we will see here that but bromides and iodides develop color when exposed to light now the third one the boiling the boiling and the boiling and melting point now if you check the boiling and the melting point of hello alkanes and hello arenes we will see here that the boiling point firstly the boiling point the boiling points of halogen derivatives of hydrocarbons are influenced by the polarity of the carbon to halogen bond now since it is influenced by the polarity of the carbon to halogen bond now due to the greater polarity of this bond due to the greater polarity as well as high molecular mass as compared to the barren hydrocarbon now if we have these are barren hydrocarbon as compared to the barren hydrocarbon in the case of haloalkanes due to the polarity of this the intermolecular forces of attraction and remember we are talking about intermolecular within the forces of attraction within the molecule between the different molecules the intermolecular forces here i'll write here intermolecular intermolecular forces of attraction are the intermolecular forces of attraction are stronger in the halogen derivatives relative to their hydrocarbons relative to the parent hydrocarbons as a result the boiling points of halogen derivatives are considerably higher than the corresponding hydrocarbons for example if we have a example methane let me take a chloro chloro CH3F, CH3Cl, CH3Br, and then CH3I. Now we will see here that with the intermolecular forces of attraction is more in the halogen derivative stain in the parent hydrocarbon, and we will notice that with the increase with the in with 
the in when we call down the group we know that atomic sizes increases therefore we will notice here that the boiling point will go on increasing more and more now the boiling point here it increases the boiling point increases with increasing molecular masses now we, we will see here that with the increase in the boiling in the in, with the increase in the molecular mass the boiling point increases therefore our it will increase in this way fluoro fluorine cl br and iodo in this way now the second point here is that for isomeric haloalkenes now for isomeric haloalkenes the boiling point increase with branching now for iso if we check here another example is for iso meric haloalkenes for isomeric haloalkenes let's write some examples ch iso ch2 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 pr and then here we have here one bromobutane there is no branching in one bromobutane here now another example here is let's take our ch3 ch ch2 pr and then i'll keep it one branching ch3 this is one one two and three this is one bromo the name here is our uh, one bromo one bromo two metal propane the name here is a uh, one bromo two metal bu two metal propane now the, let me write the third isomer here c3 c Here the three examples. This is our one bromo butane. This is one bromo two methyl propane, and then this is two bromo two methyl propane. Now he, this is two branch here. Is one branch? There is no branching here. Therefore, for isomeric haloalkanes, the boiling point decreases with branching. That means we focus on due to decrease in the surface area. The surface area here here is smaller. Here is a little more bigger, and whereas the surface area here is very large. Therefore, due to the decrease in the surface area, for us to understand better, in isomeric haloalkanes, the boiling point decreases with branching. Therefore. The boiling point decreases the boiling point will be our this will be more the boiling point will go on decreasing. that is our one promo butane will have a higher boiling point than two sorry one promo two metal propane and then two promo two metal propane therefore with the with branching with for a branch chain isomer the boiling point will be lower than a straight chain isomer now with the, we will see that boiling point also increases with the increase in the number of halogen atoms number of halogen atoms boiling point also increases with the number of halogen atoms therefore if we have for example ch3 cl CH2, Cl2, CH, Cl3, and then CCl4. Here we have four halogen atoms, four chlorine atoms. Here three, here two, and here one. Therefore, the boiling point will also increase with the increase in the number of halogen atoms. Therefore, the boiling point will increase in this manner. Therefore, carbon tetrachloride CCl4 will have a higher boiling point. Now we have the melting point. Now the melting point is such that the melting point of suppose we take care examples here this is a this is our or toy summer these are meta and this is our barra now if we have these three examples now the para isomer have a higher the para isomers this para isomer have a high melting point nearly like around 70 to 100 degrees higher than the corresponding ortho and meta 
isomers. Now, this is because the para isomer, we see here that it is more symmetrical and fits better into the lattice. Because of its symmetry, it fits better into the lattice as a result of better and close packing in the lattice. We will see that the para isomer have higher melting points. Now, therefore, the order will be here. The para isomer will have a higher boiling point, and then we will notice that the second will be ortho, and then the third will be our meta. This is for our melting point. Now, for boiling point, if we check, the ortho will have a higher boiling point than para, then meta. Our meta isomer will always have the lowest melting point and the boiling point. Now the fourth one, solubility. Haloalkenes and haloerenes are insoluble. They are insoluble in water. Why? Because due to polarity, they are insoluble in water due to polarity. Due to polarity, but they dissolve. They dissolve in organic solvents. Oh, they dissolve in organic solvents like alcohol, ether etc now this is because of the ball due to the presence due to polarity those halogens and halogens are insoluble in water whereas they dissolve in organic solvents now because halogens and halogens are not able to form hydrogen bonds with water molecule or break the hydrogen bonds already existing in water therefore they are insoluble in water now the fifth one is our density now, if we check out the density of haloalkanes and haloerenes, chloroalkanes, the chloroalkanes, chloro, chloroalkanes are lighter than the chloroalkanes are lighter than water. The chloroalkanes are lighter than water, while uh, while our bromoalkanes and iodoalkanes as well as boli chloro chloro derivatives are heavier than water now chloroalkanes are lighter than water whereas our bromoalkanes and iodoalkanes and polychloro derivatives they are heavier than water now we, we will see here that density in the density increases with increasing number of carbon atoms with increasing density increases with increasing number of carbon atoms halogen atoms and the atomic mass of the halogen atom when all these three fact when we have this the three of them the with the increase in the number of carbon atoms halogen atom and atomic mass of the halogen atom density will increase therefore we will see here that if we have here examples ch sorry ch2 cl2 ch cl3 and then CCl4, we will notice that here the density here is 1 point gram per ml. Here is 1.489. And then our CCl4 will have 1.595 gram per ml. Therefore, we will see here that with the increase in the number of halogen atoms, the atomic mass of the halogen atom. The, there is more halogen atom when we compare these three therefore with the increase in the number of halogen atoms density will increase also when there is increase in the number of carbon atoms density will increase and also with the increase in the atomic mass of the halogen atom that means when we go down the from chlorine bromine till iodine atomic mass increases down the group therefore with the increase in the atomic mass of the atom that is then the more the density will be more in that given haloalkanes and haloerenes. Therefore, this is the uh, video explanation for the physical properties of haloalkanes and haloerenes.